the next morning. Oh no. Ah. I sure haven't missed that noise. That's what it is. Noise. Pain. Suffering. Back to the old grind. Smiles go for miles. <sighs> well, at least we can take in the morning air without choking to death now. Gatsby face. Hey, 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 I beg to differ, loudmouth, okay? Bird brain stupid, you won't shut your gap. I completely disagree with that statement because you can't even recognize my own footprint. So I don't want to hear it. That's right. I don't want to hear it. I'll beat you up. I'll get to do it one day. One day, I'll get to just blast you. Who's Dusknor? So, who's this Dusknor fellow? No, I haven't heard of him. Hmm. This guy sounds exactly like me. Well, you know Guildmaster. I mean, Guildmaster is so friendly he could befriend an outlaw. Yeah, we kind of already figured out that that's Dusknor. I mean, how did this guy become famous? He seems a little shady to me, I mean... He has one eye. And I mean, he is a ghost Pokemon. You can never trust those ghost Pokemon. <coughs> Bennett. <coughs> <laughs> well, that explains that. Okay, back in the regular guild routines. Um, shouldn't be a shocker to you. Okay, you probably want to grab some missions off the board. I have my Skarmory mission that I'm going to do. So I'll take a... Well, I guess I should probably ditch some of these jobs. We'll ditch our Fall Cave missions. I never had a good relationship with Water Fall Cave. Um, grab the Craggy Coast job. I'm going to grab the Applewoods jobs too. Because that gives me like... Seven Applewoods jobs. Holy heck, that's definitely worth doing. Um, ah, but two Craggy Coast jobs. Plus, I want to do my Skarmory job. Ah, oh. they always have to make it difficult on me, don't they? Alright, we'll delete a couple of these. 
Because in between videos, I'm going to try that Craggy Coast code out for Skarmory. I want to make sure it works. I just took a job I didn't want to take. Um, so grab yourself some missions. We're going to do two days of missions. But in between, there's going to be some cutscene stuff that I'll break into. Probably should head out to town. I have some stuff to show you now. First off, head over to the Spin the Cafe. Check out Project P. Guess what? Happy news. New discovery! If you look up on your map, you can now go to the landslide cave. I may cover that in the after game. Um, aside from that, I uh, highly recommend you do some recycling because you're probably going to have a lot of extra items from the expedition and uh, from Wigglytuff's uh, special episode. Also, don't be afraid to blend gummies when you're here. If you ever have gummies, always use the drink stand on them. It will make you so much stronger. I'm not even kidding. You could be like, as power, uh, okay, I'll, I'll quote the guy who remixes my music. You could be as powerful as a level 70 on just a level 40. That is how incredible you can be. Chansey Daycare is open. Chansey will take care of eggs for you. You can get eggs through rescue missions when you see a question mark, question mark, question mark. The egg will also always be a Pokemon from that dungeon normally. Um, in between videos, I'm definitely going to have to do some cleaning up here because I only have one open spot and a lot of st items in storage. I ended up having to give away all my items uh, that I collected when I actually filmed uh, the Iggly Buff special episode. Grab all your boxes that you may have got, and we're going to take these over to our next new shop. Our next new shop. Wow, I got eight boxes on that. Make sure you have a good stash of money, because this costs you a bit, 150. And you're going to appraise all of these at Zatu's appraisal. And treasure chests normally hold very rare items. Occasionally, you'll find some pretty good seeds. Violent seeds are actually pretty useful. You'll often find some gummies in them as well. Uh, but normally what you'll find in these tress chests is items like that, a Magby Claw. These items are special items. These are the ones that you can trade at Kurgan Swap Shop. And these kind of items are normally Pokemon specific or type specific if you did the uh, Iggly Buff side quest that had that item that worked for bug Pokemon. There are a ton of these items and I think Explorers of the Sky added like a million more of them. Like there was only these kind of items for like some of the starters and more common Pokemon in Time and Darkness, but now there's so many more of these. Month for Fang. Too bad I didn't start out with Chimchar. Um, so, keep an eye on these items. They're all very useful. A nine hair, that would be for nine kills, I'd assume. So, if you get any of these items, they act as boosters to those specific Pokemon. If you just have them in your inventory, you don't even have to attach them to your Pokemon. So, very convenient. Make sure you take full advantage of Zatu's appraisal. And like I said, you definitely want to probably drop all that. You probably want to spend quite a bit of time at Spinda's Cafe. Also, by this point, it might be in your best interest to grab some of those gummies and use them on your starters, because well, your Pokemon, your partner. Like, I have some pretty good items in storage, and I have some pretty good gummies, too, that are worth using. Look at all these scarfs. Feel free to always sell scarfs. Yeah, look, I have so much here. And I have a ton of gummies, too. I'm going to definitely use some of those, mix some drinks, and get a little bit of extra power. Because I could always use a little extra power. I'm also going to probably do some Marowak Jojo training, get myself pumped up. I will recruit a Skarmory and I will catch you back here next time. I will probably pick off 
I will, I will probably pick up with me finishing my Skarmory mission. So, yeah, I think I've said all I need to say. I'll have to do some missions. 